Good evening, this is Ken Long at Tortoise Capital with the daily debriefing for February 22nd, 2018. Quick look at the daily report today. Still bullish volatile in the middle of neutral for annual on 10 day, over, uh, just on the edge of overbought here in the S&P. Uh, Risk Z giving us uh, some signals for uh, the spring season for swings on the long side. No signals and overreaction and channeling. Uh, Walmart, Verizon, Chevron, Cisco, and Coke in the max pain for the Dow 30. Plenty of dojis today, so more volatility coming tomorrow. Walmart on a channeling and an overreaction, and 5 to 1 on the auto framer. Goldman Sachs on a 5DD. Um, Verizon, 2.3 to 1. And seven on the RSI two, travelers at eight on the RSI two. Strength leaders today: United Tech, 3M, Caterpillar, Weakness, and Cisco, Goldman, IBM, and Travelers. Looking at ETF 30, got a 551W in gold. Um, uh, consumer staples, and gold, both testing out well on the auto framer. Strength in oil and exploration. Mexico and Latin America, part of that ongoing uh, strength. I would expect Brazil to have some follow through tomorrow as well. Uh, we'll be certainly framing Mexico. Uh, financials and the VIX are both weak today. Daily pension stretch Cisco continues to lead the way. I like the strength in Brazil, Latin America, Apple, Nike, Mexico. Weakness in Devon Energy, Walmart, Coke, Chevron, Exxon Mobil. So that whole energy complex still looking weak. There's energy down there as well. Uh, the Dow weakness in McDonald's, Johnson Johnson, Home Depot continues. No super pinches. Uh, in the auto framer, half a dozen test out well. There's Walmart, Coke, Merck, Johnson & Johnson, and Wynn. Uh, regression line fractal framework. Uh, the deep value plays, Procter & Gamble, McDonald's, Johnson & Johnson, Coke & Chevron. These are all those big pullbacks. This is how many ATRs below their long-term fair value they are. These are the relative strength winners here, Cisco, Nike, Boeing. Uh, some daily squeezes starting to shape up. Uh, Johnson & Johnson will be on our short list, Boeing. Disney, Nike, and the Diamonds. I like that. Uh, stabilized after a 50% pullback from the sell-off. Um, the parabolic, or the, uh, excuse me, the polynomial regression line still showing some upward strength. The slope of the uh, 30 is improving, hasn't crossed over yet. Still at uh, three sigma away from the long-term average, but finding some local support here. I treat this as Failure to fail further, and uh, I'll be ready to take this uh, to the upside for sure. However, the uh, because the slope is down, and we have a doji, a downward break could take this back to test 260 pretty easily. So we'll be prepared for that uh, volatility to continue. Nice healthy rebound in the last five days. You can see we're in the bottom half of this expanded river. And that's why there's so few Z3 pinches and super pinches. All right, so let's take a look at some of the work the gang did today. Here's some nice work from Kim in the advanced uh, swing course. It was taking a look at applying the principles of the MACD histogram and directional bias uh, to a three-minute chart on the diamonds and saying if we just got long at P1 and cashed at P1 and was always in stop and reversing what was the dollars per share capture and you can see this marked off by bias here's a pocket re-entry for 44 cents um, this reversal is a P1 all the way through the uh, negative directional bias down to a P1 uh, and then a long so uh, netting out something like uh, over two bucks 
and with only one negative trade today. Let's test it out well. Four days so far. Oh, yeah. 450 in seven trades. There's something there, isn't there? Heather's been posting some really nice work on the intraday uh, turbo trades on three minute charts inside the uh, closed trade journal with some great commentary. I look at these as some breakdowns in the. Um, uh, you can see the MACD histogram cross here out of the Z3P uh, breakdown and a, you know, a collapsing dragon with a downward bias. Here's another study from Kim. This is a capture of 287 on 18 trades, just using simple rules from trading from P1 to P1 on the MACD histogram. And you can see how we marked off the directional bias. The important ones to me are when you get these Z3P breakdowns. That's sweet. So watch for the Z3P in conjunction in here. You got this one, and you have this one. Nice breakouts, nice moves. There's another 287. Uh, here's a swing on XLU. Let's see if we can open that up a little bit. Um, nice swing. Very nice capture. This was all part of that swing to capture some, uh, some yield on sale in the defensive play. Here's some very nice work on a daily chart in CELG. Um, you notice here was a Z3 pinch breakdown. Uh, sloping downward to 70 so there's a there's a trade down in here but it's found stability here's the PSR flip uh, and the trade frame after five days in the MACD histogram ready for a further collapse this is one that's rolling over it failed to get to the Bollinger Band mean so a collapse here is really nice and then if it gets below 88 there she blows but on the upside you got a nice uh, some um, a ladder of pricing, Bollinger Band mean, Z plus one, where we're getting out of second position, so Z and a half here, uh, Z two, and then long-term fair value, and then a breakout above this uh, support level above Z three. Uh, looks a uh, very nice trade frame, both directions. Some challenges with the um, uh, channeling system. This was a, a channeling, so you're bu buying the open, there was an opportunity for an intraday turbo, uh, but here was a, a safety stop, well done. But notice also that you get a, uh, a channeling and you're supposed to buy here, and then that second one really pays off on a, uh, a move above uh, 60, on the, or minus, uh, minus 40, excuse me, on the um, Williams percent R. So the channeling in that case gets you in in an uncomfortable position as it's supposed to. Perfectly framed uh, trade frame in AEM, 5DD. Uh, this is playing the collapse, and starting with an intraday is his plan. Uh, but the longer term target, second target, 5DD, well done. Here's one in GDX, also a 5DD, framed in both directions. Price target one and then two, and then if it breaks above this yellow line, is where I would add a second position above 24. Uh, this collapse would take it down to 21, and this is where I would add a second position. Uh, you're allowed to have a downward bias here because we're MACD histogram is below the dotted line. Uh, this is a study we're going to look at in a minute here on weekly charts on Devon. And I want you to just, uh, this is just a beautiful chart from Bob. And what he's done is marked off where those changes in um, um, directional bias occur. And notice the fractal nature of the weekly charts and very smooth. And the PSAR flip points and this maximum excursion and then a return to the long-term fair value. Notice how that PSR is very clean on the weekly charts in an energy sector company that trades intraday with great volatility, but also trends nicely on weekly charts. Thus, it's one of our favorites. 
Devon Energy. Going to head into the primary chat room where we do our turbo and core trading. Um, we were just visiting the swing mastermind and then some of Heather's trades in the closed trade journal. So let's take a look at the primary and intraday. So now we'll take a look at that Devon Energy. The first one we'll take a look at are just the uh, these yellow boxes. What I've shown is what the size of those, uh, I, like a standardized weekly move after these collapsing um, uh, changes of uh, directional bias. So you get a standard move, a second leg down, a leg up, a second leg up, a, um, a leg down, that's basically half a leg, then a full leg up, and now the latest signal is this collapse, and so we would use that same size, which is $18. So you could even use a $6 stop on this, which is over, you know, it's like a 12% initial risk, and still have two to one for these expected captures. I want you to notice uh, this is a, this would be about a collapsing dragon, so a further collapse, and there's very good reason to believe that could go to 20 if it collapses through this support level. In the same way that this one, you draw from the belly of the um, RL10, uh, links up nicely with this collapse, and you get that nice move. Uh, this, you draw over here, this collapse gets you that move. Now what I want to do is show the life cycle of the MACD histogram uh, indicators. Here's that stalking move, a P1. That's here, long. Here's a PSAR flip aligning with a... Uh, switch over to the short side bias and you get this move and this one actually front runs the uh, the collapsing uh, uh, dragon right here stalking long up to here that's this move uh, failure to get to the zero line this is a pocket short that's a smoke of good trade p1 reversal to the upside stalking and an entry all the way to the um, to the long side bias which you pick up here which is this and then all the way up to the P1 so you get a very nice move from 20 to 50 20 to 50 it's 150 percent six months um, notice I want you to notice the Z3P and the breakdown collapse and then a conversion to the short side trade so you can get this on the Z3 pinch breakout right in here, or get this collapsing dragon, and you get a move from 45 to 30. That's a 33% move. Uh, and then a move to the upside, pick up the long side bias here, all the way to the P1. So the weekly charts on these nice trending symbols that are aligned with sectors, very powerful long-term way. This is in my view, long-term swing trading, which connects to position trading and the blended month theory rebalancing and fills in that end of the curve and of your time-based time, your time -based strategies very nicely. Now here's a coaching job on GDX. This is on the day trade. I want you to notice that after this nice move up, you get the negative bias here. That's here. This is a collapsing through the RL270, the fair value. You get a nice short signal here all the way down. This would be a gift. Um, you can begin stalking the long side here. Uh, but then this is weakness. It, it fails at the RL270, so it's rolling over. You can actually get short here. And we've actually framed that here as a 5DD for a further collapse. So if this does collapse, this is going down to 21 as we had seen before. Uh, here's one of that AEM markup. I just want you to notice where you can pick up the short side bias right here. This is where you could start front running that short if you wanted. I would wait with a long bias. I like to wait to see the collapsing dragon. If you bought, if you sold this in here as a pocket, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be offended. Uh, this is a uh, P1 crossover, but then it fails because it didn't even get to the zero line. This is where the RL10 fails at the Bollinger Band mean and the RL20 and you get a nice collapsing dragon short entry here and this leads into a 5DD trade frame um, and that could be your second position short and this green line would be a nice place 
to be covering a short that you might have initiated in here or in here. Uh, this is a two-hour chart um, on integer holdings, and I want you to notice first in the blue a Z3 pinch on the Bollinger Band inside the MACD histogram that corresponds with this Z3 pinch up in here. This is the breakdown uh, of the Z3 pinch, so the southern excursion. And you get a nice move from 50 down to 44 over the course of about five days. So that's about an 8% move. Uh, this is where you pick up that short side bias and it coincides with that Z3 pinch breakout very nicely. Um, this is where you get the P1 stalking reversal. I want you to, this is the maximum width of that um, Bollinger Band pinch somewhere between here and there. And this is where you start getting the compression factor back to the next Z3 pinch, which is this, which allows this breakout trade nicely. And so on the upside, after the PSAR flip, you get the potential of a uh, of an entry here on the reversal. One, two, three, this would be probably an owl. Uh, a second one on that pocket, so you have a low, a higher low. This is my favorite entry here at two, uh, and this is well on the way, uh, but it hasn't completely uh, gotten to the Bollinger, or to the zero line in MACD. Uh, so two is the one where I really, I really like that one. Now you get a Z3 pinch and a continuation one blip and then a reversal back to the long side and then this one's nice and you uh, you can get long here and um, uh, I'd be looking to add a position after it crosses to the upside and my target would be back here inside this fair value around 51. So some really good work from the guys today. Uh, keep up the great work. This is Ken at Tortoise Capital. Keep your wrist measured and your powder dry.